All right, just another quick unboxing for you today. Um, just some records I picked up uh, uh, from Amazon. I uh, got up, or not Amazon, Walmart, excuse me. Walmart's been having some good uh, prices on records I'm picking up uh, while I get a chance. And I do like the certified frustration-free packaging. So, let's see what's so frustration-free about it. Do the pull tab. Yeah. Ah, yes, it is actually relatively easy. Set it up. Flip it open. So, like I said, nothing too extraordinary today. Uh, first one's going to be uh, Alkaline Trio. God damn it. Uh, it's their first album. Uh, it's one of my favorites. Actually, I like it a lot. It's, um, it's pretty raw, and you can see, like, it's not... Um, too polished so it, it's like i said it's, uh, i come from more of a punk rock kind of background so i like that kind of rawness and you know lo-fi ish kind of recording um it's always like the sound like i said it's a great album uh, like i said it's uh not, nothing too fancy but like i said it is one of my favorites so i'll pick that up uh next one i got uh uh ryan adams uh and the cardinals uh cold roses uh Apparently this is the audio file pressing. Oops, I guess I probably should show it better. See that? Oh, uh, it's a great album, double album. Uh, Let It Ride is probably one of my favorite songs. I'm sure it's pretty much everyone's favorite song. Um, but the whole album's pretty good. Um, I just, like I said, I like the cover. It's kind of that classic kind of alt country, Americana-ish kind of sound, which I really like. And um, again, I mean, 180 gram vinyl, audiophile again audiophile pressing and uh it's not like i care much about audiophile stuff i like the process of vinyl um it's one of those where it to me it's just interesting um like i said you lay down a uh, record you know you hit start and then you can pull out the liner notes and kind of read everything and kind of review it all and it's it's just to me it's the process of vinyl i like so that's why i kind of got back into it uh this one uh, it's Dust Bowl, ba uh, Dust Bowl Ballads uh, by Woody Guthrie. Ooh, again, this this one's not audiophile, but it is a uh, heavyweight vinyl. And I picked this one up because I hear a lot of people talk about Woody Guthrie. Um, like Bob Dylan, uh, I was a big fan of his. And uh, I honestly don't know much about him. Uh, I never listened to much of what he said. So I just kind of figured uh, this would be a good place to start. It's a highly re uh, reviewed album. Um, it's got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve songs on it. And, uh, or actually maybe fourteen. Looks like they got a couple bonus tracks on there. But yeah, again, it's just a nice little album. And the last one I got is, uh, Tiger Army, um, five dot 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 dash five. I think that's Morse code for five. Um, let's see what this one is. Oh, limited edition new pressing, and this one is also on a 180 gram vinyl, limited to 1,000. So uh, yes, uh, apparently I got the got the good versions of all these records. Um, I like Tiger Army. Uh, they're kind of uh, they call them psychobilly, but I don't think so. Maybe some of the early stuff, but the later stuff is more in the rockabilly, almost traditional vein. I guess this one is more of like a Elvis Presley-ish kind of. Uh, sound but i like them and uh i said really i got each of these albums that average off by 12 dollars 50 each so uh that's shipped so I, so yeah it was almost, i think it was 50 dollars total so to get four albums uh shipped for 50 bucks is pretty cheap now i can already hear some people complaining that you know buying these through walmart supporting the devil and all that so i just figured i'd show i picked these up the other day um, I do go to my local record store. I do try and support them when I can. It's just that they are expensive and I don't have a ton of money. So I try and give them a little um, just when I get some extra bucks. But most of my record purchases are through Amazon or Walmart or whatever just because it's cheaper. But again, to me, you can do both. You can buy records that are cheap and you know support your local record store. So I did pick this up for record store day. It's Sunvolt Straightaways. Uh, I like Sunvolt. Um, it has Jay Farrar, who was an Uncle Tupelo, one of my other favorite bands. And this one's a new reissue, 20th anniversary, um, on 180 gram vinyl. Again, this one isn't heavyweight, nor is it audiophile. So I don't know if that means anything, but it's just a regular uh, album. 
So I got this one. You can see, like I said, I paid twenty-three dollars for this one. So right there, considering that you know this double album, uh, again on one hundred eighty gram vinyl, um, only cost me twelve dollars and fifty cents, and a single album, again cost me twenty-three dollars. Now you can't tell me the pressing cost or anything, or that's significantly different between the two. But like I said, so um, for the record store day, like I said I went out and got that one. And then I also picked up this one kind of on a whim, uh, just towed the wet sprocket, new constellation. Uh, apparently it's their latest album, came out a few years ago. I honestly didn't even know they were still recording, didn't know they're still around. Uh, but I've always been a big fan. I know, I know, I said people, it's a cheesy name and kind of cheesy pop uh, songs, but I've always liked them. Uh, I always liked their albums. And again, you know, punk rock kid, blah, 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 blah. I, I like regular pop, I like soft music, country, I'll you know, alt country, whatever. So I have no shame. There's no guilty pleasure in this. I like Toad the Wet Sprocket. It happens. So anyway, like I said, these are all my pickups. Uh, just last week, I got a big order coming from New West Records. Uh, should be in next week. Uh, for They had a Black Friday sale, and I picked up a bunch of stuff that mostly, again, like alt country, country, folkish stuff. But uh, yeah, but these are it. And um, like I said, there's some good, good, fun albums. And like I said, if you're not against spending some money at Walmart, because considering they can't be making much money on these, it is a good place to pick up vinyl for cheap. And like I said, you can see you get do get good pressings from the good, you know, heavyweight or audio file. Anyway, that's it for right now. Thanks.